What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana and in this episode we have a glorious opportunity to intercept and destroy a pair of, um, well a trio of Austrian stacks. One of which is heavily depleted, one that's in good shape but is not of any great strength and another is a very depleted unit. So yes, we're going to absolutely take this battle and let's annihilate the Austrians here. And again, this, this, uh, well, we'll finish the end turn phase and then we'll do a bunch of economic spending and then we will get back to um, another long major series of battles across Euro the European theatre. But yes, the end, of, uh, the end of this campaign is soon to be upon us. I mean, it'll probably be a, a handful more episodes yet, but oh my gosh. Beautiful. Well, let's get some skirmishes in this townhouse, town, the town hall. You're probably good where you are. Oh, that's a bit funky, bit of funky deployment. It's going to be this. Oh, there's actually a a ridge line here as well. It's not helping. Yeah, you're you're good there. Let's have a core of some of our weaker infantry units. We can put the other gun team here on this side of the townhouse. We're going to put a unit of guards here. It's taken two units of infantry and have them stationed on the right flank of the townhouse. It's so your deployed. So you guys deploy, the guards deployed. Let's deploy two units of infantry and our remaining guard units on the left. Howitzers bunker down. So I've got one militia, one uh, light infantry unit. I've got a, a regiment étranger not deployed. My cavalry as well aren't deployed. Let's see if deployment screws us over. No, thankfully. Hooray! Oh, I think... Ah, oh, nuts. One howitzer unit short. They're all going to drop quick climb, and it's going to be carnage. Because all my artillery is just focusing on their artillery anyway. Yeah, so that's pretty bad. And you guys probably should just fire shrapnel shot. I mean, I know they're still going to be aiming at the gunners. Speed up time a little bit. I just want my... There we go. Shrapnel... Sh oh, it, that, it detonates too early here because of the terrain feature. This, this section will be better. Because they've got... Yeah, it's because these guys have that... Have, have some junk in front of them and the shrapnel shot was detonating really early so you want it to detonate not quite so early yeah there are the units haven't actually routed yet so that's why they're sticking <laughs> not many of their reinforcements have come in we've got quick climb we've got round shot from over here we've got shrapnel shot from the right flank i mean this is not gonna they're not going to be here for very long to put up with this nonsense. <laughs> the marines are trying to trudge up the hill. Let them. Let them trudge. Bring them into range of my troops with armed muskets ready to engage. Let's really focus my howitzers on some of their actual units on the, on the map. There we go. Giving them actual orders for them to kill me has done some good. Good stuff. Yeah, giving them actual orders for my artillery to, to shoot them 
has caused them to decide, actually, you know what, maybe we do want to attack these guys. But no! Oh. 16 Light Dragoons. They're lost in the woods. They can look like they want to try and engage us with musket fire, but that's not going to help. You men attack the sharpshooters. Such brave men. Cut down. To be honest, my artillery should probably focus on their artillery. Because that's probably what could be the most annoying. Although actually you should probably keep attacking the sharpshooters. Because they are outranging us considerably. Handful. There's one guy in a building, up, in one of the windows up here that's like, ah! Is this the only one guy who's thinking, I've got range. If this gun you this artillery team can absolutely annihilate those sharpshooters. Oh, uh, they deployed funny. So two of these two guns won't have a fire. Let's see how the sharpshooters deal with shrapnel shot. Oh, they missed. Oh, that one didn't. Yeah, you're down to three men. Fail. Fail. Yeah, there we go. Let's bring their uh, new boots to bear. Hey. Oh, that's artillery fire that took out my, my gun team there. Yeah, you can have to shot the general's bodyguard. Looks like they are going to suicide in, however. At least we know this is where their good units are. Let's uh, reorientate these troops and then get my light infantry over here as well. These men are going to be important to sweep the forward areas clear. Poor, poor General's bodyguard. Oh, they're running ahead of these fusiliers. They've not taken kindly to that. But all this infantry has just not done anything. Soon. Excellent hit. Another volley in. The general hasn't been shot off his horse. Looks like he's likely to escape with his life. So let's push that flank. This heavy cavalry unit can go exploring at the back to try and see what we need to do about this heavy horse artillery unit. Hey! You can't charge in like that. That's against the rules. Oh, our cavalry's been hit by artillery fire. There's a marine unit still kicking about. And do you have an angle on them? I mean, this gun team should be, should be attacking their artillery. The howitzers can definitely retarget their uh, skirmishes and their other troops as they come into range. Go on, you guys. Yeah, annihilate those marines. They can sit there with their handful of troops and think, well, we're pretty elite. So, not anymore, you're nuts. Yeah, the objective is to send these guys in to clear out the artillery park. At the bottom of the map, you guys could probably try canister shot the Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. You guys 
re reorientate to hit some of these infantry units. Push the left flank. Good, that's a lot of damage to the infantry there. You guys are going to advance up a little bit more. These gunners attack these leers. But right now my guys are in a good position to simply... Can you guys actually attack? These guys are in a good position to just fire by rank and clear out the artillery and also whatever infantry that dares actually oppose us. That's right, you clear off now. So you're going to attack them and hopefully you can harry the fusiliers. They've not actually lost that many men. Both my howitzers work on the line infantry. And I don't quite know what you're going to do. You might just have to ignore them. I mean, I should be mopping up these units, but eh. We've got... We're doing so much damage to them, I don't, it's not really a problem. I only really wanted to try and hit those fusiliers because they might actually stand their ground and come back. Let's pivot my line to block off the valley floor. Try finish off that marine unit. One of my howitzers hit the militia, one of you hit the grenadiers. Probably take these units up to the high ground here. Get my engineers down to here. Get my light infantry down here as well. Although they are likely not going to be around for very long. Yep, yeah, it's a marine unit annihilated. Grenadier guards are going to get away with it, but... They too will likely suffer some uh, deprivation. Not the cavalry. I should bring the cavalry down anyway. There we go. Uh, Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. That's a good shot for you. So here comes the enemy cavalry. So you guys dump into square formation. Well, they're, they're mixed up. They don't really know where they're going to go. So I'm just going to let them do them. They're probably going to, yeah. They tagged this square first, so they've come back. All my artillery engage that line infantry guard unit while we try and mop up the rest of these Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. Pivot my right flank. You got hit by Grenadier Guard. That's not brilliant. Okay, let's get some infantry over fight the grenadiers. Should we get my general down in there as well? My infantry and light infantry and everyone like this can form a new line. You've done some good damage to these grenadiers. You're not going to annihilate them. You will bring my cavalry back to safety. So I'm trying to mob these grenadiers. I'm 
should work. So my light infantry are not... They're not intended for use um, in the battle line, but they will attempt to try it. You men pivot, more advanced at least. You guys continue to attack the horse grenadier guards. You've done a lot of damage to them. The great thing is, the skirmishers can fire their entire formation fires, so you don't have to worry about being efficient. They just fire over their shoulder. All my artillery attack ground nearby this gun. Okay, let's get my cavalry continued push. My infantry can join this cluster and continue to advance. Get all my artillery to switch to round shot and engage the third regiment. You guys are okay. All these supporting units will hit the 3rd Regiment of Foot. They are not going to do well. The, the Deutschmeister. Poor, poor fellows. Heavy cavalry up and over. There goes the Dutch Meisters. <laughs> Let's take these four units here, get them to pivot to fight like so. There we go. Try to do some damage. Don't push too aggressively. Mop up these grenadiers first. So you guys are attacking ground, attack grounding nearby. This horse artillery unit, hoping a miss does the damage we want. So two grenadiers. All my artillery engaged the guard unit. They're going to escape, so let's bring all this cavalry back. Kill that grenadier. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. All the artillery hold fire. All of you guys hold fire. Let's chase them down. So I hope it's not those guys that cause issues. Much make them all chase after one unit. Might get some infantry to also push up to shoot at this unit when when they're ready. Could probably have cleared out both units, but I you Hey they came back. Charge them with my, all my cavalry. Bash. There we go, and they, they are also upset. Oh, there we go, they routed as well. Let's continue, because it's just the 3rd Regiment here. Annihilated. It says close. It was a bit... It was a bit dodgy, because my army was depleted, but I wouldn't say it was close. But still, yes! Look at that. So you're dead, you're going to push back. And you are going to push back. Good stuff. Let's say, if you wanted to try to do the same thing again, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so, 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 so. Okay, Spanish agents wandering around. Doing nothing in particular. 
We're advancing. We're, we're advancing on so many fronts. So many fronts. We're likely to fight some battles before it's finally our turn. Don't worry, Spain. We're coming for you. We're coming after you. We're not going to let you get off the hook. The Ottomans still want to... Well, they need to retake Ankara. They can't leave it because that's like a significant portion of their uh, finances going down the drain otherwise. No, so they do want... Ooh, we're being attacked. Oh, uh, you might have a funny... I don't think they can cross this creek. They might be able to, but because it's a might, I am going to withdraw. I don't want to fight with two armies, one army coming in on my flank. Oh, I'm glad the Ottomans are consolidating. So the Swedish could offer some resistance on certain air in certain fronts. We'll soon be ready to cross over into mainland... Well, not mainland Swedish territory, because obviously we own that. But I mean their actual uh, holdings in the on the continent. Ooh, the Astrakhan garrison are going to sally out. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Because there's an army on a, cr um, part on a crossing to the southwest. And I wanted to... Uh, I didn't want to attack the city. They attack me. And then fight a two, uh, one stack versus two. I'd rather, um, I'd rather ch uh, chance my, try my luck to see if I could take over territory in a good old defensive battle. So I'm going to want to advance my line, which is awkward. Because there is a hump. And on the right, it's not so bad. I don't really want to deploy back. So, so it looks like I am going to have. To, I am going to advance, which isn't a problem because their uh, their army is actually pretty depleted, and lots of it are um, provincial cavalry, which are not good units. Let's keep my Gurkhas behind my artillery because they are. They like to go for artillery that's exposed a bit. Yeah, there we go. No, they deployed right the hell back. Right the way back as well. Good job I didn't deploy back. Run my lineup, because I don't want to get caught off guard by their cavalry. My left flank can march. Bring the howitzers up. Yeah, so their artillery is going to engage. So it looks like they're going after my Gurkhas. Understandable. These famed warriors will do great damage, especially as these are experience three, so melee attack is 18. They are they're just a lot better than my, than my actual uh, line infantry. Okay, so the enemy cavalry is approaching. But it, it is provincial cavalry, which isn't very good. Whoa, it's, it's, well, it's useful, but against armies that are later game, they've got a bit of strength and staying power. They aren't super useful. So let's see how they approach us on this flank. If they're going to stand at max range, they will lose. They will lose men. Too bad the deployment here is, even though they were ordered to the same point, is gone. Really weird. You guys form square. Let's send one cavalry unit wide. You guys both form square. You guys all form square. This flank can swing 
in wide, my curiosity ass can go deep. You blast the dragoons. There you go. The Swedish regiment of horse that's charged the square here is going to suffer. You guys advance. My infantry and square on the left is enough to deal with that. Let's get my Gurkhas in to clear out the to clear out the enemy cavalry. Let's get our howitzers popping off quick lime shots. Although the cavalry here have broken. Pikemen are charging up. I don't know if that's going to have the effect they'd like. You guys drop into square. Okay, that had the effect they wanted to get back out of square. The right flank has completely rumbled. So let's advance. You guys drop into square. Bring you guys up to engage the Fusiliers. My general's bodyguard that can counter that provincial cavalry charge. Oh, we've got some actual... Okay, sweet. We've got a melee charge over there to deal with. You guys stay in square. My provincial cavalry... Well, my... East India Company cavalry should win there. You guys charge the colonial, the provincial cavalry there. My musket fire will annihilate the 8th regiment. Just throwing my Gurkhas into the melee. My artillery pokes fire these units that are standing off. My general's bodyguard is going to push off this Regiment of Horse, so they're going to fall back. We've won over here. You guys abandon the pikemen, ignore them. You men both attack the Swedish militia. These units can push up. You guys hit the horse artillery. Let's get my howitzers to chase down their pikemen. My Gurkhas are going to clear out the Swedes that are attacking in the center Let's get my cavalry up to fight their fusiliers are you staying square let's get you guys into square let's pivot we'll bring these guys around the flank okay bring my cavalry back halt my artillery fire so i need to smash into the back of this pike unit so my heavy cavalry should do a lot of damage to these pikes in the rear and indirectly these militia but it's the pikemen I want to deal damage to first they'll do some damage to us as they turn around and fight but they, they're down to they're dropping men quickly the militia have been annihilated so let's push on bring up the infantry how oh, it says round sharp Regiment of horse. My Gurkhas are charging after the enemy. Don't. Face down the militia. Team with you guys. We can notch the corner off that formation there. Shit, I did really want those men to charge. The Fusiliers. Those Fusiliers are not the best in melee combat. They do suffer at the hands of cavalry. And there is a bike line here to watch out for. Just as well, we're not really looking to annihilate the enemy exactly. I mean, you could just chase down some of their infantry, because you've got nothing else better to do. Bring the Gurkhas back. Yeah, all engage the militia. I think that's everyone. That's all. Okay, we're going to continue. You don't have to. Whoa! 
Lost a handful of troops. It's a long unit of spikes. A long, it's a long, uh, a long line of stakes. Okay, now you can swing around. So you men hit the dragoons. You men hit the regiment of foot. This is just about experience harvesting now. We don't need to do it because I think they are going to be. They're going to fall anyway. Well, the, the Astrakhaners will fall due to um, the siege. Attack those gunners because they're probably going to be sat behind an artillery piece somewhere. Chase down the militia. Loads of them just fell over and died. They did escape. That militia unit is going to escape, and then that will be the end of it. <laughs> Again, another close victory. I don't think so. I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, they're still... Well, they're gathering strength. They can do some raiding, but this is why we're bringing up a second army. To this region. Bavaria. That's risky. They want peace, they're not going to get it. Ooh. This is this is the battle we wanted to see. A bridge battle drawing in a lot of the Bavarian troops. And most of them are pretty depleted. That will leave our army on the bridge to the north of Bavaria clear to march in and take the capital. What an excellent turn of events, I think. So, four units are going to guard the bridge here, two of our artillery units, or one of our artillery units is going to focus on firing directly down the snout of the crossing, one of them is going to fire whatever they like, four units are going to cover that flank, they're going to cover the bridge, five units are going to immediately deploy around the bridge around the board then we have five units ready to do something can't really pursue I really want to try and maximize the number of units that I've got firing You guys are limber. Oh, Nadges. Didn't deploy my howitzers. To be honest, <laughs> with a heavy horse guard artillery unit, there's not a lot that's going to make it across that bridge alive anyway. There we go. Our artillery is coming in and doing huge damage to their huge damage to their artillery positions. Can't meet. We can't hit their rear, their rearmost areas. My artillery is going to mostly focus on their. Is going to mostly focus on their artillery. Although I'm going to, I am going to switch to shrapnel shot. I want to start hitting stuff close to home. This this unit here, I'm fine with attacking their artillery. One heavy horse guard unit will do a lot of, a lot of damage. So I'm, I'm counting on using this this uh, mark of fire here so that it's not a perfect box but I want to try and maximize the number of muskets I've got firing at once so you're going to be engaging the hussars as they try cross and my howitzers have, an, have plenty of range to cover the crossing as well might get them to start hitting the blunderbuss shotgunners just marching within range
I mean, they almost never cross the, this bridge, but I've got so many troops, it's like, meh. Put some over there. Let's clear out that Lancer unit. You guys, pack these Lancer guards. These poor souls are not going to make it across the bridge. The Lancers are down there. They're getting ready. The first volleys come crashing home. Get my cavalry, my artillery here to focus on the Freikorps cavalry. Although it looks like we might have some. Oh, excellent shrapnel shot there. Yeah, these poor devils. So my other horse artillery team focus on the 6th Regiment of Horse Artillery. Such beauty. You might even focus on the general's bodyguard. Oh, he caught, ham caught a couple of his men as they tried to flee. Like, yeah, we could try and cross over the bridge, but why? Why worry about it? be nice if one of them could hit this clump here. I think we've got a shell inbound to do just that. Nope, they're still after the blunderbuss shotgunners. Okay, switch this artillery team to start blasting the crossing with canister shot, but I don't think it's gonna... Actually, I might just keep them firing shrapnel shot. It's a pity we've got sound bugs, because goddamn, these... I mean, these blunderbuss shotgunners that need to advance to point-blank range anyway. There comes some cavalry charging in. And the line infantry are... They might try and engage from range. So the volleys are going in there. They can actually make... Well, if they went straight for my gunners, they'd have made it. But they didn't. So most of my guns aren't actually f firing. Well, there's one that's not firing. So let's fire at Will Canister Shot. You guys are shooting into their back, so stop that. Some good quick climb into this big clump. And artillery fire. I suppose because you guys don't have a target back there anymore. Blasting the Grenadiers, blasting the 2nd Regiment. There's blunderbuss shotgunners that are going to try and cross. General's bodyguards? Uh, oh, there's the General. He should have been up front, next to the guy with the bugle. He's going to charge the guns, or... Nope. He thought better of it. He received a better offer, but will he get a canister shot up his jacksie? Ooh. He's avoided it. Oh, no he didn't. <laughs> okay, so my gun back here. You guys have a new target. The second regiment of horse artillery. Oops, one, two, three. I accidentally clicked the more sensitive option on my mouse. Another blunderbuss shotgunner unit coming in. They definitely have their place. It's just not here. Grenadiers, engineers, book guards. The core of their army is now trying to cross the bridge. And no. Nope, they'd had enough. Let's switch this artillery to shrapnel and engage the 4th regiment. And let's speed up time a little bit, just because right now... It's beautiful, but now it's just... 
going to be futile. <laughs> it's just not... It's, yeah, when they've not got any numbers to do it, like, cavalry's... Hey, they did get to my, get. They did get to my line. Let's drop into square. They've only got 20 cavalry left. They're shattered. Chevaux Leger. Although they are not very happy with what's happening. Drop you guys into square. See if you can break their square. Artillery blast. First horse guards. Drop into square because they are going to make it. Horse guards. Horse guards. Horse guards mad. Guards, this horse guard unit will make it. Yep, they're gonna hurt my cavalry, my um, gunner unit. Unless they rout. There's another horse guard unit and another light horse unit coming in. But these guys are in square, so I don't really know what they want to achieve. Your squares, or my squares, are far too powerful. The artillery's been annihilated. Like they're trying to break my square, and to be honest, even fusiliers in squares. They're pretty 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 uh pretty sturdy. They're not gonna be so easily cracked open. time again because uh yeah their uh cavalry got nowhere to go an admirable effort um but i've got all these guys ready primed and keen to go yeah there we go don't say they're going to start trying to find a way across. Just blast them in this little clump they've got positioned here. Okay, my artillery... F oh, folks, you can... You can try hit the general. This art unit here can switch the round shot and engage the general's bodyguard. These guys are just going to get side down. Oh, beautiful. One of them was hidden. Online infantry. Well, either way, doesn't matter. That was a pretty abysmal river battle, really. Yeah, there we go. They lost 2,000 men. They're going to fall back and they're going to bolster the garrison of Munich. But bolster does not mean save. Ha <laughs> ha! Do it. Let's have a look. Carino Gasol. Doesn't worry doesn't matter about them. Let's more craft workshops, more better. We've got um, armies to support. Okay, it was Starting to well, we're rolling out the global trading company model. Two top well, these are all top tier buildings except for the, the uh, church school in Azerbaijan. We're not going to touch this part of the world yet because we've actually what we're going to want to do is actually focus on well, we're going to fight one more battle up by Bavaria because that's we've done a lot of fighting over there to the west. I'm still replenishing. 
you're replenished, you can march over and put... You can march over and put Tangier under siege. We're not going to do that just yet, we will fight it. But I am going to want to take... I'm going to want to take uh, Louis Nipis to go and attack the uh, remaining Bavarian forces. And I'm going to want to storm up these other armies to uh, other locations. So I want you guys to drive, go here to block off this crossing from any men who might try to storm north into our territory. To you, put them under siege. Let's get this force here on the crossing. In case you try and swing around. We've got you well and truly boxed in. Let's make sure the armies that we fought with are replenishing. You you might try and get up to something. Let's not do too much over here because I want to take Mr. Nipis and attack Munich. Because this will be the end of their faction. And we will... We will reign supreme! And I'll knock out their troops. And it means we'll have more armies to push against um, Austria. As well as we'll have some to drive down south. So one could take Venice. And then the, that means the armies pushing from the west. Will just start to push down the boot of Italy. Down towards Sardinia. Oh, what a lovely position. Look at all my guns. Well, they're going to be unlimbered at first. Get some howitzers here in the town, using the buildings as cover. Deploy one off to the flank. Which is going to use this feature for a bit of direct cover. Our foot guards, our infantry petit vieux, are going to be forming our assault battalions. Fortunately, they're going to get a bit of a hammering. Got some good line infantry ready to take any breaches. Then we've got our cavalry ready to swarm around. So can you... Okay, there's no one really worth worrying about in the middle. Pack the infantry on the, uh, the walls for now, I suppose. Going after the uh, horse artillery, it's not bad. Well, my gunners are in position here. That is an excellent position to shoot. So let's boost time a little bit just to make sure that our knocking holes in walls is the easy bit. Boom, 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 boom. Make a hole. They do have a more interesting unit in here somewhere. Nope. Liebgarder Verbarten. These are like Liebgarder lifeguards. I'm not, not sure what Verbarten means. My German's pretty pretty poor apart from useless things. Speed up time a little bit because all we're doing is just again, just knocking holes in walls. You attack that line infantry unit because it's actually in a reasonable position to do something to you. Well, is it, well, I mean, it's in a good position to be attacked by my artillery. Who are you? Oh, Fusiliers. Watch out, the Fusiliers have pushed outside. They don't have any mortars, so my assault battalions are going to start to march up. This unit to try and attack the militia because that will do some quite good damage if we hit them from the right direction. Troops are advancing. I mean, this is just going to be a slaughter. Well, I mean, look, they're, just, they're already getting quick lime to ribbons, if that's even a thing. I don't think it is, but whatever. 
Now it is. My assault units run. Cavalry march up. My infantry is going to march up, but not fire. It's all focus fire. The central position. Because this little box of Bavarian troops will not be enough to stop us, especially when we get a few more of these babies landing in their midst. Oh, we knocked out a whole bunch of troops on the on the wall as well. Okay. In we go. I'm not going to send everyone up the walls. I'm just going to want to send some. Hey, they sent a little, uh... You got a little old, uh... A little old, uh, st cavalry stake wall. Here come the enemy cavalry. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fortunately. Uh, cease fire. That's the thing to do, I think. So this unit here is going to take that section of the wall pretty well. Get my cavalry around to the rear because we are, but we're going to capture this section of the wall. Yeah, we've given their heavy infantry, well, heavy ish infantry, something to chew on. You men form square. You attack all these Bavarians here and clear out their unit cards. Get the 39th foot guards. To be honest, I've done this the wrong way around. I should probably have the foot guards storming in. So you guys march and attack. Second foot guards. So you guys try to take this gatehouse which should tick over to being ours soon there we go get the cavalry in get the infantry in just swarm 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 because yeah my infantry are getting infantry units are getting picked apart attacking these handfuls of units You guys both back there. You men charge through the gates to attack the Freikorps cavalry. Hold up. Well, this regiment of foot go is, is going down. Soon, these doors should open. I mean, there are ours. There we go. And they're just going to start spilling through. Spilling through the gate. There we go. You men attack cavalry. The light horse attack horse artillery. You guys run through into the rear of that combat there. Let's get the cuirassier over to fight in the other gate's house. Let's get an infantry unit to sit on the central square. Yeah, that infantry unit did finally break. You can attack the 9th regiment to keep them tagged. We've got one good unit to attack there. You guys drive east. You 
You guys attack there. You guys get the timer going. It's not long. But it won't be long till you fellas are around a commission. There we go. Last got a handful of cavalry units. Like I said, these guys aren't gonna fire. They're just they're there to just keep the ticker going. Attack the blunderbuss shotgunner. Or one of him. Attack the these blunderbuss shotgunners, all two of them. One last unit of militia to kill there. Which hopefully you will do. So you guys are going to clear out the 9th Regiment. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, attack the Freikorps Cavalry just to stop them from going into the centre and mucking everything up for us. It's only a handful of seconds before the enemy are defeated. There you go, the 7th Regiment. To be honest, they're all rather upset at what's going on, and there aren't many of them left. Kill the enemy general. The army is broken, and away the, they go. So one regiment in foot has been decimated, attacking the corner of the wall. We've decimated them back, and we have taken Bavaria. That great, great... Bastion of German strength is now ours. So where's their university? Let's get rid of that. Let's repair all the buildings. Then we can upgrade their industry buildings so we can harness their fantastic capability to produce money. So if we get rid of the university, that will deal with all of the public order problems. Uh, Mr. Nip Napiece, you guys replenish. So I want you guys to storm up ahead of the city. You're going to cover the passage to the south. You're going to hold here in case these guys try to drive west. I mean, let's see if these two guys can attack Gun. Well, I mean, to be honest, there's going to be a lot of attrition everywhere. Not, I don't want to fight that battle individually, just uh, do a bit of replenishment to Rooney. Breslau, you're replenishing. Mr. Suffren, you require reinforcements. So you can have both of those units. Let's upgrade you to a church school. Gdansk is now in a better position, so you guys can uh, siege Königsberg, while well, Gdansk you continue to replenish let's repair the dry dock we have another army ready to deploy, so let's take this sloop this out of sir. Visby further orders. All aboard. so let's deploy oh my god Petersburg is undefended. Here's a lovely port for us to disembark our army. Let's demand the surrender of the city. Oh, fine, they're going to make us attack it. Well, first of all, this army under Mr. Garnier is going to drive to the west to block these guys from causing any problems. You're going to... Probably lose. Definitely two units. Well, not lose two units, but let's say take this, these two militia units, and send them somewhere else. While these elite infantry units take position, bring these militia back down. So Petrovskaya is looking much more um, 
capturable. Stockholm's pretty Catholic. We do have a church building, so my priest is going to march over to Finland. Which is upgrading their infrastructure, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I think the next thing to do is to continue the war. So let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. You're still replenishing. or well, you are replenishing. Let's upgrade you to a global trading company. And get you a guard sloop. Then let's take Noel Monsi. He is going to attack Tangier. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the last major Spanish city. They do still have Cagliari. Although actually... No. Okay. You guys are going to hold. You're going to siege, but you're going to hold. Okay, so we're going to have Noel Monsi. It's going to attack Tangier. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last major Spanish city and the beginning of our invasion of North Africa. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>